My name is Adrian Ferguson, the instructor at the Jamaica German Automotive School. For this video, we will be focusing on how we pressure test the cooling system on a vehicle. This video is crucial to the field of motor vehicle repair and as such, you will need to pay keen attention to details. At the end of this video, trainees should be able to 1. Select the correct safety tools and gears. 2. Select the correct pressure tester adapter. 3. Calibrate the cooling system pressure tester to the system. 4. Locate the leaks in the system. 5. Collect data from pressure gauge. And 6. Interpret data from pressure gauge. Before performing a pressure tester, you must ensure that the proper safety gears are in place from your overall to your steel toe booth. Now the tools that are used to perform this task is known as the cooling system pressure tester. These are different adapters that are used to calibrate the cooling, the cooling system pressure tester to the system that needs to be pressure test. Now, our cooling system pressure tester is comprised of a cylinder, a sliding piston, gauge, which gives you the reading for this one in PSI and in bars, and the hose that allows here to be transferred from the cylinder to the system to be pressure test. Now there are different types of adapters that will fit different type of cooling system. Now here we have an internal screw fit adapter. We have an external screw fit adapter and we have the press fit adapter to which most persons are familiar with. Before we commence in pressure testing the cooling system, let's look on what the cooling system is all about. Now the cooling system is basically a system on the vehicle that is responsible for maintaining normal operating temperature and this may range between 80 to 95 degrees Celsius. Now the cooling system is comprised of your radiator cap, your radiator, radiator hoses, your overflow container or reservoir, your heater core that can be found under the vehicle's dashboard and the engine itself. I've done my safety check and I've come to the conclusion that the vehicle radiator cap is now cool. Now I can safely remove my pressure cap. Now to pressure test our system, we must select the correct adapter to perform this task. And here on my selection of adapters, I will select the correct adapter that is fit. There are times when you'll have to basically select more than one just to get the correct fit. I will select my adapter and I select my coolant temperature tester. Here, I will attach my adapter to the filler neck of the radiator. Now this is the press and fit type adapter, so we'll press and turn and allow and ensure that it is safely seated onto the filler neck before the pressure tester is applied. Now before we can actually pressure test this system, we must ensure that we know the correct specification of cap to which we are working with. Now this pressure cap has on it a 1.1 specification and this specification is actually in bars. This is the amount of pressure to which is acting on our coolant to increase our boiling point. Now in performing this pressure tester, in performing this pressure test, our pressure tester will be pumped to the same specification and then we'll rest the pressure test out for about five minutes and watch to see how it performs. Here, I'm going to attach my pressure tester onto my adapter. Now, as we said before, our pressure tester is within a specification of 1.1 bars. Now, here on the adapter, here on the pressure tester gauge, you see where we have specification in bars and in PSI. Now, the inner scale speaks to PSI 
uh, reading while the outer scale speaks to bars. Now what we'll do from here is to apply air pressure to our system to 1.1 bars and we should be using our outer scale. And there, you can see looking at the indicator needle, we have now reached at 1.1 bars. So what we'll do from here is to rest our pressure tester for about five minutes in a stationary location while we do our inspection. Now this test is performed to see if there's any fault in our system. And this fault may range from an external or internal leak. External leak may come from your radiator, your radiator hoses, your water pump, your overflow container, your, your heater core which is under the dashboard. Our internal leaks may come from what is known as our combustion chamber or cylinders and this coolant will be um, being dumped into the engine. Let's review what we have done so far. The cooling system is the part of the vehicle responsible for maintaining normal operating temperature. It is made up of the radiator, the radiator cap, radiator hose, overflow container or reservoir, heater core and the engine itself. For air pressure testing of the cooling system, an air pressure testing kit is used. The kit consists of a pressure tester and various adapters. When pressure testing the system, look at the radiator cap for the pressure specifications. Then attach the adapter to the radiator. Attach the pressure tester to the adapter, pump it to the same pressure specification as was indicated on the radiator cap then rest it for about five minutes and examine the system. Here we'll be going through performing our inspection. So we'll check our hoses to ensure that the clamps are correctly in place. There are no form of uh, leaks. We look on our engine area. We look on the hoses going to our ether core, so right here, going into the dashboard region of the vehicle. You may look under the vehicle itself to see if we have any form of spotting. We're gonna look under the dashboard of the vehicle to ensure that there's no form of, of leak. So we'll check our carpet, ensure that it is dry. We will check the passenger part of the vehicle to ensure that it is it is dry. What I'm doing is basically checking to see if we have any form of leaks in this area and we are dry. So no leaks in this area. Here we have done our checks, we've done our visual inspection, realize that there are no leaks as it relates to uh, visual inspecting. One way we can identify if, we're real, if we are having an internal leak is by removing our filler cap. Now the filler cap should have on it only oil. If there's any form of coolant deposit or white milky look, there's a clear indication that we have coolant and engine oil being mixed. Another way we can identify this is by pulling our dipstick from the engine area. And what we're looking for is the same white milky look from our dipstick. Here, you can see that we only have engine oil, which is a good sign. Another way we can check to see if there is an internal leak is by actually turning the vehicle on and see if the pressure gauge will increase in pressure, which is a clear indication that pressure is being forced from the engine area from the combustion chamber back into our cooling system, which will be a clear indication of an internal leak. Now here we have done our test and we can see that our gauge is now fixed, which will mean that there's no form of leak in, on, on this vehicle. Because we have, we, have, we have allowed our pressure gauge to sit for about five minutes and the gauge needle still fixed. 
Now, in order for us to remove our cooling system pressure tester from the system, we must ensure that we depressurize the system. As I said before, safety must be on the forefront in performing any task as it relates to motor vehicle. So here, what I will do is to demonstrate how is it that we depressurize the system in order to remove the adapter from our radiator filler neck. Now here is our depressurized knob, and I will press on this knob, and here you see the needle fall back to zero. It's a clear indication that we are depressurizing the system. So now it is safe for us to remove our cooling system pressure tester from the vehicle's cooling system. Ensure that the radiator cap is fixed back to the system. Ensure that the area that we're working with is clean and dry. Now that we have come to the end of this video, take this little quiz and see how well you will do. 1. Name the parts of the cooling system pressure tester. Cylinder, sliding piston, gauge and the hose. Number 2. Name three types of adapters. Internal screw fit adapter, external screw fit adapter and press and fit adapter. Number three, what is the normal operating temperature of the cooling system? Between 80 and 90 degrees Celsius. Question four, what are the parts of the cooling system? Radiator, radiator cap, radiator hose, overflow container or reservoir, heater core and the engine. Question 5. List the ways to check for internal leaks. Check the filler cap and the dipstick for a white, milky look, which would indicate that the coolant and engine oil are being mixed. And turning the vehicle on and seeing if there is an increase in the pressure on the cooling system pressure tester. Thank you for viewing this short video on how to pressure test the cooling system on a vehicle. I hope you have learned the correct way to both select the correct tools and adapters and the correct procedure in pressure testing the cooling system under little or no supervision.